Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2 of our Cunard Queen Elizabeth mini cruise. Today we had arrived at Belgium, however, we decided to spend the day on board. So uh, we're going to breakfast now, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to We're going to go to a tiny restaurant, which is really pretty. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Uh, but first, we're going to go and get Scott and Alan. Those of you who already follow our vlogs will know it's quite rare we make it to breakfast in the main dining room. However, as we were with Alan and Scott, and this was Queen Elizabeth, we decided to make a special effort. And it was definitely worth it. There was a great selection on offer, from pastries to full fry-ups. After breakfast, we set about filming our ship's tour. To see our ship tour, check out our Cunard Queen Elizabeth ship tour video. Both our ship tour and stateroom tour videos can be found on our channel. We were very lucky today as the weather was really nice, so we decided to make our way down to the quayside to take some good pictures of the ship. This port is very restricted, so you can't wander off too far. We have managed to take some good pictures in the past, but we were told to come back before we could get any really good shots of Queen Elizabeth today. After taking some pictures, we made our way back on board to carry on filming our ship's tour. We've um, managed to film our ship's tour. It took about what two an hour and a half, two hours. Two hours. So we've been uh, we've got a few bits and pieces we've got to go back and do, um, but we'll do them later. Um, so now we're literally just nip into our room, get some bits and pieces, and we're going to go to the spa, which we're really looking forward to. Yeah, we're going to just soak around in that hydro pool. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go to the Morial Spa or Morial Spa, I should say. Um, yeah, we've got ourselves a day pass. It was about thirty-five dollars. Um, yeah, so we're really looking forward to that. The Maria Spa offers various treatments and services in a relaxed environment, far away from the strains and stresses of everyday life, with plenty of experiences and treatments to refresh and revitalise you. Today though, we're just taking advantage of the spa day pass. The spa pass gives you access to the hydrotherapy pool and various thermal suites. After a few hours lounging around the spa, we decided to rehydrate ourselves by having some afternoon tea. There is a real sense of occasion to a Cunard afternoon tea, white gloved service with unlimited tea, sandwiches, cakes and those fabulous scones, or scones, however you pronounce them make this an unmissable experience. This was Alan Scott's first time. Needless to say, we don't think it'll be their last. The string quartet playing in the background was also a really nice touch. It certainly added to the ambience as well as being enjoyable to watch. Thank you. 
Once we'd finished our afternoon tea, we decided to head up to the Commodore Club for something a little bit stronger. As we've said before, this really is a nice chilled out bar. We love the views from up here, as well as the drinks. We were treated to some live entertainment too, which gave the whole atmosphere a really relaxed feel. Feeling a little bit guilty about how much we'd overindulged, we decided to take some air out on deck. Queen Elizabeth features a traditional style promenade deck that wraps around the whole ship. We love walking the promenade, it's the perfect place to take in the scenery, get some fresh air, sit down with a book or burn off some cake. <laughs> Just a little over three laps equals one mile. Walking a few laps on the promenade deck, I woke up quite thirst we decided to go to the Golden Lion pub for a few drinks. The pub was quite quiet, probably because the ship was preparing to depart Belgium and everybody was either out on deck watching the ship set sail or getting ready for the evening. Hello. Hello. So we're on the final night. Yeah. That's gone well too quick. Two nighters do, but they are fun. Yeah, it's really been, it's been nice to chilled out all day in the spa. Well, not all day, we did rush around this morning doing our ship tour. It took us oh, about two or yeah, three hours that. to do that. The ship tour, we went to the spa. Yep. That was really relaxing. Afternoon tea. Really nice. Then we had afternoon tea. Then we've had a few drinks. And back now, got changed, and we're heading out. We're yep. going to go up to the Commodore Club now, meet Scott and Alan. Yep, meeting them at seven. So we'll have a little canapes. Yep. Then we're just going to head out now and enjoy our last night, I suppose. Bye. We'd arranged to meet Scott and Alan in our favourite bar, the Commodore Club. What are you eating there? Ship snacks, ship snacks. So I did it. Ship snacks. And we've got some little kind of hazy. And we have some crisps. Look at even the crisps that they've placed them, that they've stood up. They've perfectly arranged the crisps. Cunard has a great selection of gin. We really enjoy their own gins, such as the Queen Elizabeth, Queen Mary, and Queen Victoria. These drinks not only taste fantastic, they look it too. Paired with some tasty nibbles and snacks, as we've said before, this is definitely the place to head for some pre-dinner drinks. Wow. And then all the ingredients like butter, uh, strawberry, and cucumber. It's very refreshing. Thank you. A few drinks later, we decided it was time to head down to the Britannia restaurant for dinner. The Britannia restaurant really is an impressive dining room. With its art deco theme and elegant stairs, paired with fantastic food and service, we wouldn't hesitate dining here at all.
as we've said before, we really rate Kuna's food, it's really delicious and well presented. We decided to finish off our dinner by having a selection of cheeses. Washed down some port of course. We opted for some Graham's tawny pork, a fame favourite of ours. After having a delicious dinner in the Britannia restaurant, we decided to wander around the ship exploring the various venues on board to see what was going on. We popped our heads into the Royal Court Theatre, where we briefly watched the show. Afterwards, we went to the Golden Lion pub, which is just next door. That phone call wasn't for me, it was for you. Somebody registered a complaint. I know. I've just seen the complainant, and she's lovely. Yeah. Why not? The perfect combination for a woman. Flowers and shoes. Just charge it to Horace Hardwick from 404. Your rescue AM. Certain damsel. This damsel prefers to be in distress. <laughs> After having a few drinks at the Golden Lion pub, seeing as it was our last night on board and the fact we'd have to appear early the following morning, Alan and Scott decided to call it a night. We decided to go back up to the Commodore Club for some more drinks. The Cunard Queen's gins really are worth a try. We spent some time relaxing up at the Commodore Club. Gavin began to look a bit too relaxed, so we decided to call it a night. But first, a quick call to the Lido restaurant buffet was in order. So we've just got some midnight snacks. What have you gone for? You went for what you have sandwiches and you've got some pizza. And I've got, um, I think I've got like a duck and I think that was chicken, I'm not sure. And some like pizza bread and some red cabbage. So yeah, enjoy that now and then head to bed. The following morning, we'd arrived back in Southampton, where unfortunately our little voyage on Queen Elizabeth draws to a close. But first, we called by the Britannia restaurant for a quick breakfast. After breakfast, we mulled around the ship for a bit, whilst waiting to be called to disembark. We have to get off now. A bit sad. A bit sad, yeah. We haven't got another cruise book now until next January. <laughs> Two months. <laughs> but no, it's been a good cruise. Yeah, it's been really, really fun. We've had loads of fun on this cruise. It's been great. Really good. The food's been good. Oh, the food's been beautiful. Good. Yeah, I can't fault any of it. So glad we didn't get off the bridge though. We made the most of the ship. We yeah. really made the most of it. But for now. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos.
If you like our cruise videos and all things cruise related, please check out Alan and Scott's YouTube channel too. We've popped a link to their channel in the description. Thanks for watching.